Hi, Richard here for Haltech, and today we're in New Zealand, surrounded by the beautiful Queenstown scenery. Located on New Zealand's South Island, Queenstown's known for its skiing, its hiking, and its general adventure lifestyle. It's a very popular holiday spot. Unfortunately, that's not why I'm here today. We're here to see our friends at HP Academy. Wow, so here we are at uh, HP Academy. Uh, Andre's here with me. He's going to be doing a guest Q&A with us in a second. But mate, before we get into that, can you tell us a bit about HP Academy and, and what you do here? Yeah, sure. So High Performance Academy, we are an online training school and we teach people how to tune high performance engine management systems. So online, you do that via the internet or do you do it face to face at all? Uh, most of our courses are delivered via video modules. So they're over the internet. Basically, anyone can learn from anywhere in the world as long as they've got an internet connection. And focusing mainly on, on EFI or? Yeah, we, we've got three areas to the business. So our main core at the moment is still EFI tuning. So teaching people how to tune engine management systems. We also do engine building, so high performance engine building and automotive wiring too. Very cool. And starting from just from the very basics right up through to proper high performance stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So all of our courses, they don't assume any previous knowledge. So you can start at any level. You don't have to be a mechanic. You don't have to be an engine tuner. You don't even need to know how an engine works. We basically assume no knowledge and get you up to speed. That's awesome. So being primarily online, you must get questions from all over the world about engine tuning and, and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. There's thousands of questions, but we also see the common questions being asked repeatedly. So I've got a solid top three for this Q&A session. Awesome, I'll leave you to it. Easily the most common question we get asked is what software do I need to tune my engine or tune my car? And I think this comes a lot from people who are really new to the industry or EFI tuning and there's an expectation that there is one overall universal piece of software that you can use for tuning every car. Now clearly that's not the case and it gets a little bit more complex because when it comes to tuning an engine management system or an engine in general we can sort of break down our options into either reflashing, so that's a technique where we are altering the tuning information held inside the factory ECU. To do that we use software packages from companies such as HP Tuners, Ecutech, Cobb etc. Or alternatively we can remove that factory engine management system and replace it with an aftermarket ECU and that gives us complete tunability over every aspect of the engine. In that case we'd be using the specialised software that comes from the ECU manufacturer. If you want to find out a little bit more about what that looks like I'm sure the guys from Haltech can put a link in so you can download the Haltech Elite software and you can have a play yourself. Now the second question we often get asked is what air fuel ratio should I run my car at? And this is a question that's impossible to answer. The reason for this is that there isn't one specific air fuel ratio that we can tune every engine to and get optimal results. To make things a little bit more complex as well, the correct or optimal air fuel ratio is going to depend on the way the engine's running. So for example, at idle and cruise, we might choose an air fuel ratio that's going to give us good fuel economy and minimal emissions, maybe 14.7 to one. When we go to wide open throttle though, we're going to need a richer air fuel ratio ratio to make maximum power but also most importantly to protect the engine. So we might be choosing an air fuel ratio such as 12.5 or 13 to 1 for a naturally aspirated engine, maybe much richer for a turbo or supercharged engine. But we can't take that one air fuel ratio and apply that to every engine and expect the best results. We need to use the dyno and let that help us find the optimal air fuel ratio for the engine we're tuning. And by far the most common question we get asked is what ignition timing should I use? And the answer to this is pretty similar to our last question. There isn't one fixed ignition angle that we can use for every engine and every situation and expect the best results. Critically as well, when it comes to the ignition timing, if we're using too much, the engine can suffer from knock. And this, in my opinion, is the biggest killer of any performance engine. So what we need to do is use the dyno and use knock detection equipment to find what the optimal ignition timing is for our engine under each point of the RPM and the load range. 
Well, there's our three most asked questions. Now, if you want to learn more about EFI tuning, you can get started for free with our six part series of lessons. They cover everything we've talked about today and you'll see how ignition and fuel are optimized on a dyno. Follow the link in the description to get started. This has been a Helltech Q&A. My name's Andre and I hope to see you in one of our classes soon.